I should just say then briefly that the Book of Changes is thought to be the oldest of the great Chinese classics and to date from perhaps as early as 1300 BC. Although perhaps the figures of which this classic is a discussion may be much earlier than that, they may go back to the earliest phases of human thought because the I Ching really is the ground plan of the way in which the Chinese think and not only the Chinese. It's almost a mapping of the thinking processes of man. And it may surprise you to know that the system of arithmetic, which is used by digital computers, came from the I Ching. We have a binary system of arithmetic in which all numbers may be represented by zero and one in various arrangements. Is you is or is you ain't? So there's a sudden unexpected link between the most sophisticated mathematical machinery and a book originating at least 1300 BC. But what the I Ching really goes into is this question of is you is or is you ain't. It sounds terribly simple. Black or white. And we keep saying to people, you know, life isn't just black and white, or black or white. There are many shades of grey. True, but against some backgrounds, grey is dark. In another context, grey is light. And really, all colors, in fact, all information whatsoever, can be translated into terms of yang and yin. For example, when you look at color television, the signals are broadcast to your set as a stream of pulses. They could be put on magnetic tape.